you guys happy Thursday you know what I noticed in my last video which was so disturbing to me is that I'm growing a double chin I just noticed that after I had fasted I noticed it and it's very disturbing like skin changes all together is just very disturbing to me and I noticed a lot of changes in my body and I noticed them pretty much right away because I'm really into like doing body check so that goes for my vagina and everything because I remember a couple of years back I was telling some ladies that I check my vagina and they were like what that's why I got my OBGYN and blah 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 but I'm like the OBGYN sees you once a year but like you mean a whole year you're gonna wait for them to tell you that something is wrong with your vagina really yeah you all go ahead and keep that energy because I need to make sure you know she's healthy and I'm not gonna wait a year for to know but anyway enough of my BJJ enough about my BJJ so anyway right now I am out to lunch and originally when I was coming out I wanted a salad but I don't know I think I want me a sandwich now even though I probably shouldn't be having the bread I'm gonna try to fit that into my 1200 calories and excuse me if my lips are dry and ashy looking but it's cold out it's already cold out here but the air is very dry and I lick my lips a lot. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I do. I've been doing it since I was a kid. And truthfully, I really just, I just can't help it. So, yeah, I gotta, I'm going down here to Dollar General. I think it's Dollar General. It could be Family Dollar. I don't know, don't get me the lying. But anyway, that is what your girl is going to be doing oh it's dollar general so yeah like i said i'm going to try to fit whatever i eat into my 1200 calories and my last meal today will most likely be at five no six o'clock six o'clock will be my last meal today so i'll probably just have like a glass of wine or something <laughs> to get me some lunch I kind of want me some french fries but I'm gonna get something from that way The lettuce, tomatoes, sweet peppers, jalapenos, um, and onions. And let me have cucumbers as well. Cucumber? Yes. Yeah. Um, and onions. Um, as far as the sauce, um, do you guys have the Caesar sauce or no? And 
I'm gonna have a little bit of salt and pepper. Thank you, that'll be it. Um, to go. Um, nope, that's it for today. Good one. All right, so I have my semi healthy sandwich and my junk food. You can see what the calories were, but the app that I'm using, which I can't remember what the name of the app is. man just threw his cigarette box on the floor that is one of my biggest pet peeves it's so annoying like they already think of certain places as dirty and they already think of certain neighborhoods as dirty so why would you contribute to you know why would you contribute to it that's the thing about it and a lot of people be thinking like all oh, these kids blah 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 but it be some grown, full-fledged adults, and it's just annoying. I'm I'm sorry, you guys. It's just really, really freaking annoying. But anyway, enough of him. Oh, I'm gonna look on my app, and I'm gonna see. Well, hopefully they have the calories listed in their database. If not, then I'll just look it up on the internet and see what it is. So yeah but next week i have all of next well i have all of next week off but i don't have all the time for all the days off and so i'm only going to take hashu of my days off next week which yeah i don't mind because originally i Put in the time because my aunts or my aunt and my cousins they're going on a cruise and I really wanted to go with them so our vacation is quarterly by the time I was able to put it in and I got back my vacation schedule to say that I was able to go the cabins that they had available I did not like it. I don't like to be, I didn't want to be inside. I wanted to be like with a balcony, have any of those available. And so I just, yeah. Oh, I decided, nah, I'm not gonna go. And then by the time I was thinking like, ah, maybe you can deal with the interior. Like when the next time I looked, the only spots they have was like damn near in the bottom of the boat, no no it just wasn't gonna work and so that was it so all the days that i thought i was gonna need off i don't need off and so therefore i will be coming into work some of my days and that's it the days that i have off i'm gonna do as much as i can um as far as you know getting the things that i need to get done because at my job almost 11 years come January the 20th I have not taken any time off I'm, I'm, I'm tired a little bit of doing the same thing over and over but trust me I am not ungrateful for what I have and my ability to get up in the morning and come to work and you know the fact that I have a job Trust me, I'm not ungrateful for that. So personally, I'm just, I'm ready to just move on. I'm ready to be like a business owner. I'm ready to create something that, you know, the world could use. And I'm, I've always been like that. Ever since I was a teenager, I always thought that I was gonna be 
It's gonna be a famous designer by the time I was 25 years old. I'm gonna be 100% honest. And no, it didn't happen. And there's a lot of things that came about in my life that it really stunted it stunted a lot for me it did and it had nothing to do with having children anyway i am talking my lips off and i'm getting ready to go back inside sit down and eat my lunch and so yeah oh look at this light and it looks so horrible well anyway it's what time is it? It's probably, it's probably around about 7 o'clock right now. And I'm just leaving work. Hopefully this is not something that I do. Which is overtime. Oh, I don't do overtime because my job is in Queens and I live in Brooklyn and by the time I get off from work, it's fairly late outside but I really need to start doing some overtime so That is what I am doing today and quite possibly I'll do some overtime tomorrow Probably the same just an hour and a half, an hour 45 minutes, and then that's it. I'm not trying to be going home too, too late because these streets are crazy. Miss Bryant needs to be safely in her home. Well, you're really not safe anywhere, so, but you look at your home as your safety net. Let's just say that. But you as well look at schools as your children's safety net in churches, in synagogues, in mosques as safety nets. And we all know those aren't always as safe as they should be. So yeah, but Right now I'm walking to the train station. I'm so darn glad tomorrow is Friday. And I think I was telling you guys, next week I'm off, but I'm gonna be coming in Monday and quite possibly Thursday. Yeah, even if I come in for a half a day on Thursday, I'll probably come in Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, I might come all day for Thursday, I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling. I just want to say that you guys be safe this New Year's.